Uh, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. And uh, we're back at the uh, Aviant Special Needs um, Facebook Live. Today we have the bad man from Amsterdam, Milos. Hello, Milos. Owner and operator of Mad Specials. Good afternoon. And and we also have Phil. You can't show him anything. He hasn't been shown. Oh, very good, yeah. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. I tried. I tried. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, today we're going to um, go over some more Mad Specials specialty inks, uh, uh, specialty prints with our Aviant logo. So we're happy to have him show us what he can do with the Aviant logo, and we'll show it off at the shows. Uh, Milos, take it away. Show us what you're doing today. Well, good afternoon. Uh, for me, it's afternoon. Uh, today we're going to print the Aviant logo, which is a three-color logo. Uh, not going to do really special, unique things with it, but something everybody can do. Uh, let's start up with, with, the, uh, with the artwork. It's like uh, I made a four-color print. Uh, I start with an underbase. Uh, I, I put it on a, a 27 mesh, European. Uh, normally, I would put it on a 43 with a, an H, uh, a high density um, capillary film. But yeah, I didn't have time, so I just put it on a 27. I'm going to build it up a little bit so I get some thickness. Uh, after that, we're going to have uh, the uh, uh, PMS, uh, PMS Green 361. This is going to be blue, uh, PMS 27, 27. And this is going to be a clear coat over it with some texture on it. So, well, uh, I haven't made a, a test print yet. So uh, I don't know if it's installed correctly, but we'll do that uh, during the show. Nice. No pressure. I oh, know. <laughs> For the inks, I have... Uh, a 430 PMS, which I'm going to use as an underbase. Uh, it's mixed in with uh, some cork base and some uh, sculpture base to get it uh, a little bit high. Let's put it in. Let's see what happens. What, what mesh cap have you put the colors on, Milos? The flat color. Uh, colors are mixed with uh, with Rio, uh, just from uh, yeah, from my computer. I get this mix uh, mixture, mix this with that, and then you get the color. It's amazing. EMS system. And what about the mesh count? Sorry, the mesh count. Yeah. Uh, for, for the first uh, layer, I have a uh, twenty-seven. Uh, normally, I would uh, print it uh, through a 43, but yeah, you know me, pressure, time, always What's the same. 20? What's 27, Phil? Is that like a 86 or a... Yeah, that, that's a real coarse mesh. Yeah, it's a real coarse mesh. So it could be a 60. I need to look that up. I need to know these things better. Don't you worry. I've got a calculator. I'm not so, inter I'm not so international, am I? I know well, 43 is a 110. I know that. A 70. 68 and a half. 70. 70. If you have. Okay. Yeah. Let's take, take some crosses. But when you've got a big bulky logo like, like we have there, uh, you, you, you kind of want an open mesh so you don't get a dip in the middle. So you notice it's not very light print. Looked like it looked like not a lot of pressure on that. When we're normally doing these kind of high building looks, we we, we typically do lines or dots. Uh, it, it's kind of rarer to do a full solid solid area, which will explain why the real low mesh count compared to what we've done previously. And what what but again? Uh, sorry. sorry, what I'm trying to achieve here is uh, uh, a little bit of height. Uh, and normally, I really would print this uh, with a with a capillary film, but uh, then again, I didn't have the time to prepare a screen. Sorry, guys. 
It's uh, nice to know somebody's busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, it's been quite hectic. I can tell. <laughs> what the project? Well, we appreciate you taking time to help us here. Yeah, always. No problem. <laughs> so I'm going to print this like uh, three or four times. So I get, I get a nice height with it. But normally, if you had a high, the high density screen, you could probably get it in one or two. That's correct. Yes, yes, uh, two two passes max. Yeah. But you see, after after only two passes, it already has has pretty much a height on it. On the right surface. I always need more. This man's persistent. He wants some kind of texture on there. Well, the, the texture is going to come in later. Uh, yeah. That's why I, I use uh, a clear base for the texture, because I want to maintain some of the color that's underneath it. So now it's like a good millimeter, I think. Okay, awesome. So let, let's get uh, the next color. Which is uh, uh, green, uh, FAMS 361, just mixed with a uh, uh, regular ink system, regular ink, nothing special about it. Except that it's Roflex. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's Rio, mixed with Rio. Oh, nice. So it's a little, it's a little special. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Was it right, right first time, Milos? Sorry? Did you get it right first time? No adjustment straight from the formula? Straight from the formula. Super. Of course, it's way off, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's, it's kind of, yeah, I just overprinted on uh, uh, the high density, so it's got a little bit of uh, height to it. And of course, nobody know, know what's going to happen until uh, you put it through the dryer. Yeah. I'm sure something's going to happen. Always does. <laughs> so, and then for the next color, uh, by the way, this was uh, a 61 mesh. Phil, do the calculating. The 61 mesh. Oh, okay. Is that like a 160? 156? One, one, yeah, 155, so you're right, 160. So next to blue, it's on a 43, because I had a 43 uh, spare, so yeah, it's on a 43. It could be on a 61 as well, it's no problem. It's just a color, and it's a blue color, uh, mixed in with some, uh, some white, so you won't have any trouble with uh, coverage at all. Okay, this, so this is the new Aviant logo. I kind of like it. I, I can do. I, I really can do stuff with it. Yeah, so I thought I you'd to, like it. I have to readjust it just a little bit because you're off contact. You got to watch that. No, it's just a warning. I install it really quick. Well, that's live printing for you. Uh, looks pretty spot on. Yeah. Let's dry it again. So that's where we have the logo. And it's, it has a little bit of a high build on it. Uh, and now we're going to introduce some texture with uh, the high density clear one. I have to see if this, I, I have this correct. I have so many inks. It's a uh, 50 50 percentage of uh, high density clear to number two and high density sharp clear. Oh, nice. 
I don't know. Well, they'll create that, edge, that's for sure. Once it's printed, you're going. To, it's going to stay where it stays. You know, that's that's what the yeah, yeah, yeah. does. But yeah, I, I just need just a little bit of texture. So, so this is why I put in the uh, high density, uh, sharp clear because that's a little bit more of uh, a thick ink to print. And I need texture, so I need a thick ink. But for the texture, I as well have a, a 27 mesh, but this one has a build up to it. So it's about uh, 300 micro units. Microns, sorry. No I was close, huh, this time. Yeah, yeah, you're learning. Yeah, I'm learning. I think Every day I, I learn. I think with that sharp clear, you're going to end up a more a little bit of a matte surface compared to a regular page. Uh, this, would, this would depend on how slow you would uh, put it through the dryer. Because if you uh, put it uh, through the dryer slower, it's going to, like, gel. No, I overheat things. I undercure things. I, I just try everything, and I want to know why and what's happening. It's yeah. always fun. It's a simple rule: the more the more heat you apply, the, the, the glossier the ink yeah. is going to get. On a white shirt, that can be tricky. So you could be pushing the envelope here, Milos. Ah, no. Thank God for the micro installment. Really. Well, perfect. Let's get some ink. Put in a good amount. Well, this is going to affect the colors a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I'm interested to see, too, that sharp clear is... Me too, man. Not as clear as the HD clear. HD clear, obviously, is the gel. So it's... Oh, that was so this cool. Is, see how it killed it. It's how this man printed it out. I was printed once, uh, then dry, and get a little bit more uh, bondage to the shirt. Uh, introduced uh, the other product with the other ink. I don't know why, but it seems to help. Okay, now you got the old, uh, whatever you call it, technique. Some call it mud print, some call it, I don't know, whatever. It, it's just playing with it. So you're leaving all the ink in contact with the mesh. In the stencil, yeah. I see it's not not good right here, so I'm just gonna print again. I show the bottom of my screen. People would be really scared right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, Wait, that was a color. I need to clean it. No, you don't. Don't worry about it. Just go over it again. Uh, the beauty of doing things like this, there's no benchmark to what no, it should look like. So whatever it looks like is what it looks like. So what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. I thought so. I think you've just enhanced the logo. Uh, put it in a dryer and see what happens. We seem to have lost Ray for a minute or two. Ah, uh, that's okay. Yeah, I know. It's not a bad thing, really. We can make it more European now. We don't yeah, have to yeah, have put, put, the, put the calculator away. <laughs> There's light at the end of the tunnel. Always. Always. I'm interested to see what, what, what's going to happen. 
that logo would be pretty cool with a bit of phospho on it as well. Yeah, I can I can print it with phospho in there. That's no problem. That's going to be nice. And there you have it. I'm back. Welcome back, Ray. That's not too shabby. That looks pretty cool. See how it's here? Cool. I think the sharp clear kind of matted it a little bit, so you're really going to see an intense difference in the middle. So I will uh, print up uh, some of these for uh, for you guys. So uh, and you can so wear them at or whatever. So yeah, that was another uh, nice print with match specials. Any questions or? All, all, all we do is we have people sh giving shout outs from all over the world and I've been putting them on the, putting them on the screen. Um, so, so you've been trying different clears on top of this all along. You also put color in that last screen too at some times, don't you? You made me make it uh, lighter. I, I could put a, a color in a screen uh, yeah. from the, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be on this one because obviously. You no, I it. just I, because yeah, it's it's a, a multiple uh, multiple uh, color logo. Yeah. I use a, a clear base uh, to to maintain all those colors, so that you have the uh, that you can recognize the logo by its colors and and but, stuff like that. I would never print this like uh, the same technique I could do with three screens. But yeah, I, I would never do it like that. I, I think that's a, a good example where you can keep corporate colours intact and then and jazz up the logo for, for events and promotions, yeah. etc. So you're not taking anything away from me. Dan Campbell's asking question. He goes, he goes, it looks great. Would that flatten out if you had too much heat in or for in for too long? No. No, it, it might cloesque a little bit more, but it's not going to really flatten. Uh, if, if I would uh, like uh, print the same uh, print, but uh, I would add a little uh, phosphorescent color to the clear base, uh, it, it's going to change the color of the uh, the PMSs just slightly, but uh, not enough to uh, uh, lose uh, the, uh, the the colors of the logo. But it's going to be a cool effect if if I would print this with uh, with phosphorescent in it. Ah, it's, it's nice. I'll, I'll, I'll do the versions uh, for you guys. I'll do with uh, phosphorus ink. Oh, cool. Going back to what Dan asked about the heat and, and things flattening out, that, that, that's yeah. typical of inks with blowing agents in. If you have too much heat, it can kind of overblow and flatten itself. Uh, but with these structured inks, they tend not to do that. And in response to Alan's question, if you... If you didn't want to mat it down, you would use the HD, HDC Clear 2 on its own and just belt it with heat and you'll get a real gloss look. But again, yeah, so you, just answered, Alan, you just answered Alan's question. If the, if the Sharp Clear matted it, what would be used for gloss? That would be 100% HD Clear 2 um, yeah. in that last screen and it would be as clear as can be and it, it'll gel. It, it, it's what we call the gel print. So. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 for the artwork, I did no choke whatsoever. So it's just one on one, uh, and you can see so how well uh, the uh, how do you call it Reg registration. registration. It, it holds. It holds perfect. Yeah. It's it's just perfect. No no lines next to it. Whatever. whatever. Uh, well, the registration okay. and, and, and anything to do with high build and you're going through that course of mesh count, tension is uh, pretty critical. So with the correct tension, you're going to register pretty much spot on. Um, yeah. In answer to the, so, the auto questions, what would, you, what would you do differently? Not a great deal. You can set an auto to do similar. And I think the key was, and Milos said when he was doing it manually, don't panic when the screen look, lifts up and you've got all that stuff hanging down. Just bang it down again. Raise the off contact. 
higher to take account for the step and and just to have a very very light print stroke so it kind of almost sucks it out of the screen rather than, than, than yeah. lazy yeah so, the, the kind of the physics so at work the, there on that last screen yeah, on Most that last that. screen, you'll probably use a softer squeegee, just bend it all the way out. And you're basically flooding it instead of printing it. And then it's, but you slow down. In some cases, it, it, it's pretty much the reverse we were all taught. It's kind of bad printing, but it's kind of fashionable to go for it. I mean, it, yeah, it's pretty much the opposite as you're taught how to get a really clean, uh, clean defined print. This is kind of the opposite. It looks like Jeanette's claiming the shirt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> really? No problem. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lady small. <laughs> well, that's oh, so that must be Phil's. I was gonna say, be careful <laughs> what you say next. <laughs> no, no. Phil, Phil, hey, Phil's hey, wait. Got Phil gets a, sh a special backside on it. Yeah. Oh. Show, show his print. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Cool. Well, um, I appreciate it. Milos, thanks for taking time out again. It's always great to see you and, and see what you're going to do with our with our inks, um, and this time with our logo. That's fantastic. I thank you for your time, and hope you have a great weekend. It's already yeah, – yeah. It's Friday Cheers, night. Milos. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's Friday yeah, let's night. Let's go party. Let's go. Woo -hoo. All the best, guys. Yeah, I send to you. From the van, John McGee. We're still on. I think we've lost Ray. He's lost control again. Yeah, but we're still on. Yeah, to Dan's question, uh, Dan Solomon, yeah, just load it with a load of ink and uh, let it just get sucked out of the screen. I can't see the questions. That's a that's a bit of a shame, actually. So I think I'll, I'll answer all the questions later. We've covered most of them as they came in. We're still on. So yeah, yeah, there's no getting rid of us. Should we start partying live? Uh, Cal King is asking about the Always Shine T-shirt. Yeah, well, very similar. Know? Uh, it's it's kind of the, the shirt I'm wearing. It, it has a, a, a base from uh, phosphorescent green with uh, with gel in it. Uh, so when I put light on it, uh, you, you can see a, a, like a different. Uh, I'll I'll post that picture later on on my Instagram, uh, but you can see like uh, a line of green under the glitter. It's it's. Uh, I have seen that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty okay. Uh, have you got a shimmer in there as well? Yeah, I got a glitter in there. Uh, it's it's glitter. Let, let, let me say this. The first layer is the phosphorescent green with gel. It's got a, like a, a high density screen for it, 400 yeah. mu. Uh, it, then again, uh, it's uh, another layer of blue glitter. Just, just blue glitter, uh, and on top of that, there's a layer of uh, glitter with uh, a blue and a green uh, luminescent ink, uh, and that's got some texture to it. So, yeah. it, in every light you see it, it's gonna change. It's it's so nice. Yeah, I like it's that one. By the way, it's an extensive print. There's like a ton of ink. <laughs> yeah. Well, Char Char Oh, hello, Ray. There's I'm back. Hi, Ray. You're back. Glitter with uh, a blue and a green uh, luminescent. Oh, he's behind us. Uh, and that's yeah. Uh, Way behind. Uh, yeah. yeah well, it's, right. Right. it's gonna change. It's it's so nice. We'll try this later. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's like a sun. How's that? I'm so sorry, guys. We were having uh, power surges here, and it just hit me right at the wrong time. So, um, uh, no problem. 
Hey, so you guys, we got some extra minutes there for some of our viewers. That's fantastic. That's cool. <laughs> I, I can't win one here. Like either at the office or at the home, man. I'm getting some uh, surges. So don't uh, worry, you trying, guys. I'm, I'm, Milos is ready to get out of there. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next five minutes? <laughs> just, just uh, one, one. John, how thin a line can you hold? I mean, Milos, you can get a reasonably thin line, but you know, you, you've got to get that ink through. On through the glitter? Yeah. Through. No, uh, I mean, no, not just on can, high bill. You can get a really fine line, but uh, this, this all would uh, uh, be up to your choices of uh, mesh count. So if it's like a really fine line, but I need it to be a, a, a high density line, I could easily put uh, a 400 mu, uh, this uh, microns. Yes, I got it in once. Uh, microns uh, <laughs> on a 90 screen, European. And that's like, okay. uh, that's a fine mesh. Hold on. Uh, and then you can play with the viscosity of your inks just to, yeah, to make sure that it's actually going to touch the shirt. That's like a 230. Right. Yeah. All right, guys, we better get off while I still have internet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we don't do overtime on a Friday in Europe. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. <laughs> right. We've we'll got things Thank to you, do. Thank you, Milos. Thank you, All Phil. the best. <laughs>